Hello again everybody and welcome back. In this video we're going to perform uh, image classification using TensorFlow and uh, TensorFlow is set up uh, very well to perform uh, image classification so uh, this video actually won't take that long at all and then in the next video we're going to perform object detection which is substantially more elaborate and that'll be a much longer video but in any case let's go ahead and jump right into uh, classification here so if we type github uh, microcontrollers and more and then we go to here and I'll, I'll link to this in the description below but just in case you'd ever like to get to it without the link uh, then we're going to clone this here tensorflow tut2 classification walkthrough and uh, I'm going to clone this to the documents directory uh, you can clone to any directory you like so uh, we'll go ahead and grab that directory path there and so we're going to cd into that directory and then we're going to do git clone and then we're going to clone that and so there's our two commands so we're going to go ahead and bring up a command prompt and paste these in so there's one and there's two and this is pretty uh, small repository so it won't take that long to clone there we go it's already done so now we can go ahead and open that up and so we're going to go to documents uh, tensorflow tut2 classification walkthrough so i've prepared uh, both the doc uh, docx word version and pdf version of uh, the walkthrough document so uh, let's go ahead and get right into that so uh, step one is uh, please reference the previous video um, i'm going to put a link to it here um, and then here's the previous repository and in the uh, the previous video in repository what we did is we took a quick look at um, installation and a kind of first walkthrough of some TensorFlow programs for those uh, not familiar with installing uh, TensorFlow or kind of the fundamentals of it. Uh, so then continuing on to step two, uh, really please before you post any error messages below, um, especially if you haven't used TensorFlow before, go through the previous walkthrough because hopefully that will most likely answer any questions you have should you run into errors on this tutorial. So uh, say no more on that subject. So step three, uh, clone the repository containing this document. We just did that a moment ago. So step four now we're going to download images. So uh, you have two choices here. You can download these uh, flower images provided by Google and uh, you can follow the instructions here to download and unzip this .tgz file using 7-zip. It's pretty straightforward. Um, and I believe, if I recall, there are five different classifications of flowers. I think they have dandelions, daisies, tulips, roses, one other, if I recall. But um, you can also use your own images if you like. So that's what we'll do today. So uh, I downloaded um, a little bit, a few more than 100 images of road bikes, uh, road bikes and mountain bikes to uh, and save them both to my Google Drive and my OneDrive. And the information in these two locations is the same. The only reason uh, that there's two here is uh, just in case one ever goes missing, then the other will still be available. And to save some time, I already downloaded those to the downloads directory here uh, while I was preparing for this video. So uh, we've got here, we've got mountain bikes and then mountain bikes with the numbers after it. And then we have uh, road bikes and then road bikes with the numbers after it. I don't remember which one is the Google Drive and which one's the OneDrive, but uh, again, it doesn't matter because the content's the same in, in both. So uh, once you've done that, then we're going to uh, separate out some test images into a test images directory and then we're going to uh, run retrain.py so let's go ahead and open this script here retrain.py and we can take a quick look at that before proceeding so um, this script is not my original work i want to make sure that that's clear this is 100 percent credit to uh, google and the original uh, script is available on their github uh, site for tensorflow and the link for it is right here I have made two significant refactorings to this. Uh, one refactoring is as Windows users um, were not used to entering uh, command line commands so much, uh, unfortunately, because the uh, Windows command prompt isn't very friendly as far as copying and pasting in uh, multiple line command line commands. Let's take a quick look at this original retrain.py script here. And there's more than 20 parameters in this script that you can feed in. And they're towards the end here in if name equals main. So here they are output graph, intermediate output graph directory, intermediate store frequency, output labels, etc. So if you were to use this original retrain.py script, you'd specify each of these as a command line parameter. Um, but since Windows makes that kind of difficult to use, uh, to do rather, uh, I refactored that into those being module level variables up here so you can simply uh, type in whatever you'd like those to be although I did choose uh, sensible defaults so for uh, today's uh, walkthrough here you should not actually have to change any of these but you can reference any of these at your leisure for fine-tuning of this uh, script later on 
And then the other change that I made was I added this function, check if necessary paths and files exist. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up um, a directory in our repository here, training images, and then that's going to have uh, subdirectories for each classification. And then we're going to also set aside some images in a test images directory uh, originally. Uh, that is to say before the training is done so that we're not training and testing on the same images because that would be cheating of course so uh, this walkthrough document walks you through the rest of those steps however this uh, check if necessary pass and files exists function should produce friendly enough error messages so we'll go ahead and run retrain.py and we'll take a look at those so the first error we get here is error training images directory does not seem to exist did you set up the training images so we did not so we're going to make a directory here, training images, and if we run this again, it's going to say there's no subdirectories in there. And the error there don't seem to be any training uh, image subdirectories in training images. Did you set up a image subdirectory for each classification type? So let's go ahead and do that now. So if we go into training images, so then we're going to go into mountain bikes, and then we're going to copy the mountain bikes directory from that. Uh, OneDrive or Google Drive uh, link that I mentioned earlier and then same thing with the road bikes directory we're going to copy that into training images as well and now we don't need the downloads directory open anymore so let's just take a quick look at this so mountain bikes as you see is a little bit more than 100 images of mountain bikes and then the road bikes is going to be a little bit more than 100 images of road bikes so now if we go ahead and run this it's going to say that we didn't set aside any images to test on before training so test images directory does not seem to exist did you break out some test images no we didn't so let's go ahead and do that now so we're going to add this directory here uh, test images at the same directory hierarchy as where retrain is located and then we're going to go into training images and then we'll take out let's say maybe three mountain bikes move those into test images and then we'll take out maybe say uh, three road bikes again here I'm just picking out some random road bikes and go ahead and move those into test images as well so now we've got six images to test on later in test images and now we can go ahead and run retrain and at this point we should be past all the error messages we are and it's going to take a moment to download this inception model so uh, while we're waiting for that if we Google on something to the effect of uh, TensorFlow uh, Inception Explained GitHub, uh, this page here and many of those other links as well you can also reference, um, but this is going to explain uh, what Inception is all, all about here. I'm not going to get into this in too much detail because I like to stick to implementations in my videos rather than getting uh, branched off into theory, but uh, to make a long story short, basically Google set up this extremely modern, very, very good uh, classification TensorFlow network uh, and what we're doing here today running retrain.py basically uh, uses what uh, what we call uh, transfer learning that is to say we're using the network all except for the last layer and we're simply retraining the last layer uh, with the script that we're running today so that will allow us to perform very accurate classification in a pretty short amount of time and I'll probably pause the recording at this point while the remainder of retrain.py runs so it looks like retrain.py has finished running, so we can go ahead and close that out, and then we're going to open up uh, test.py, and this, this will allow us to test on those images that we uh, set aside. Let's see, how, how many was that? I believe that was six images we set aside. Yep, so now we're going to go ahead and test on those six images, and it takes uh, PyCharm just a moment to load. Uh, PyCharm is a little bit more of a weighty editor than some of the other uh, Python editors out there, but I really s still suggest it because, um, you know, as it's taking a moment to load up with all this uh, weight process it's doing here at the bottom right, as it kind of has this progress bar, um, you know, it's necessary to do all that to provide the nice syntax highlighting and, and such that it does. So uh, we're going to go ahead and run test. And I've run this quite a few times here, so mountain bike 85% uh, confidence. Uh, mountain bike 69.93% uh, confidence, mountain bike 98% confidence, uh, road bike 99% confidence, uh, road bike 78% confidence, and road bike 80.5% confidence. Uh, I've run this quite a few times in the course of when I was working through how to do this and 
uh, preparing for this video. I've never seen this script miss uh, a classification yet. It's really fantastic how accurate the inception model is. Simply retraining the last layer, you get fabulous results. So uh, it really is that easy to do classification with TensorFlow. So uh, that completes this tutorial. And then in the next tutorial, we're going to take a look at uh, object detection with TensorFlow. So I'll see everybody in the next one.